In this video, we'll be looking at how to quickly write cold email copy that brings in positive replies, meetings, and deals. If you've ever had writer's block, or you don't have the patience to spend a lot of time on your cold email copy, then this video is for you. Let's jump into it. We're going to break down our email copy into three building blocks. The first one is attention, and attention is broken down into relevancy, question, personalization, segmentation. I'll go into every single one of them later on in the video. Then the second building block of the cold email is going to be authority. And authority is either case studies that are similar or a believable but compelling claim and your track record. And then the third one is gonna be the ask. The ask can either be light, where it's just uh, more info, like a light touch uh, ask. Uh, I'll give you some examples later on as well. Or a direct ask, where you ask them to get directly on the call. So to recap, attention, authority, ask. So in this video, we can workshop it through. You can go through this here uh, with me. And what we're gonna start with is gonna be the uh, authority section. So let's, let's start this. You can go through this here with me. Just think about your past customers, right? So the first thing is you think about your past customers or your past experiences or track record. What you wanna do now is write in bullet point format what results you got for them. So just write without holding back. So I'm just gonna go to instantly now and we can just go through this here uh, together. I'll, I'll go to I'll just set up a campaign. You can set one up here. Go to the sequences editor just so I have something to write on here. And yeah, so I'll, I told you I write without holding back. Um, for example, I can just show you a couple of examples that we put here. Right, you can say, for example, I'm thinking about past some past customers when you had the lead generation agency offer, I instantly offer now. Right, you can say, hey, like I had this one client, visionary planner, got them an additional 50K and deals closed. I have another client, got them four clients, 4K a month fees. Helped XYZ get three more meetings a week. Helped James C add 400K ARR with instantly. And obviously, like, go through all your case studies in the past. Everybody did you help get a, a good result, an impressive result, or even just uh, a regular result, but just something believable, but that's still uh, compelling. So just write them down here, uh, either in a, in a Word doc or here in the instantly editor. But yeah, just think about that, right? Just think about your past customers and go through that. Uh, let's say you don't have any past customers, then you can just say, you know, we specialized in getting companies like company name. This is where it will automatically insert a company name and then you insert your value prop. You know, you can, for example, say that if you're a lead generation agency, you're specialized in getting companies like company name, five additional qualified sales calls a week. Or you can say we're special, if you're an SEO agency, you can say, hey, we're specialized in getting companies like company name, um, thousand clicks a month through our SEO strategies and our backlinking, whatever your value proposition is. Okay, so, right, we wrote down in bullet list past customers that we got results for. If we don't have customers, if we don't have past customers, we can just, you can just say, hey, we're specialized in getting companies like company name and then the result that you promise. Uh, and then you can say it like that. So, okay. So we talked about that now. Let's turn this into the authority building block of the email. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna, you know, take this, right up. I picked out a couple here. I'm just gonna say this, right? Help visionary planner get an additional 50K in deal in deals in the last uh, the last 30 days. I think we can do the same for you. It's gonna, it rounds up the email a little bit. And this is the authority section. <clears throat> so moving on, right? The last part is just going to go round it up, uh, round it out, and um, you can do the same now for you. All right. Like, let's say, or if I have, I have another uh, case study I want to use, I can just say uh, that instead. You know, we help James C at 400k uh, k in ARR. Um, I think we can do the same for you. All right. This is just case study here. Um, okay. Moving on. So the next part is going to be the ask, right? Ask is building block number three. Um, when we have attention is one, authority is two, ask is three. So ask is super simple. It's the easiest component here. Just pick out one of these call to actions, right? This is just where you wanna 
get your foot in the door, you, get, you do a call to action, you ask them to take an action. Um, or you ask them, hey, are you interested to hear more? Mind if I send more info? Got a quick 10 to 15 minutes to review this. Mind if I share some examples of what's possible? So I'm just gonna pick the first one, very basic one, proven as well. I'm just gonna use that, right? We have the authority portion, we have the ask portion. Interested to hear more. Okay, so moving on, right, this is really easy. And I'm gonna add this into the uh, YouTube description as well, just so you have it there. And just pick one of those uh, call to actions, one of those asks for, for your ask. Okay, good. Now attention. Attention is going to be building block number one. This is the most challenging one, in my opinion. Authority, pretty straightforward. Just think one of, um, one of your customers. Ask, super simple. But now we want to look at attention. So what we're going to do is there are numerous ways to go about it. My personal favorite is to have the first generic, the first line be generic enough so I can send it to a lot of people, but it still feels relevant to every single recipient. That way I don't have to use AI or manually write personalized first lines to get their attention. Let me just show you some examples. And on this entire list, I'm gonna have it in the YouTube description as well. So you can say, you know, we help companies with their what your audience offers. So what they offer, not what you offer, but what they offer. So you can say you help companies with their offer. Is that right? The reason I ask, and then you transition to component two, right? Authority part. So you can say something like, hey, <clears throat> you help companies with their branding. Is that right? The reason I ask, or uh, yeah, the reason I ask, and then you transition into building block two. So for example, <clears throat> you can say something like uh, first name, uh, you help companies with, with, their, with their funnels or with their sales, is that right? And you can say, you know, the reason I ask is, is because uh, we helped James C at 400K in ARR and I think we can do the same for you. Are you interested to hear more? Right? Uh, we are, we're flashing this out now, right? We're putting out all the different building blocks, we're putting them together and flashing them out. Let me show you a couple more examples. Um, <clears throat> you can also say, really impressive what you did at company name, not a lot of target audience with that type of track record. So, so for example, you can say, hey, really impressive what you did at company name, not a lot of recruiters with that type of track record, or not a lot of coaches with that type of track record, or uh, not a lot of uh, CEOs with that type of track record, right? It's kind of a, a generic sentence, but that could that feels like it applies to them specifically. You can also say something like, hey, I noticed that you run the show at company name, so I uh, thought you'd be the best person to discuss this with. This is also a good one. Um, or, you know, you can kind of keep a little bit more casual, more informal. You can say, hey, do you help folks with their your audience a service of what they offer, right? So for example, you can say, hey, do you help folks with their sales mojo? Or do you help folks with their branding mojo? Or um, with their content marketing mojo, right? Something like that. It's a little bit more casual, doesn't look like a promotion or pitch cold email, just a straight up a promotion, but keeping it a little bit more casual. You can also say something like, hey, I've heard good things about your and their specialization, you call out their specialization again for that reach out. So for example, uh, I've heard good things about your executive coaching skills for that reach out. Or you can say, hey, I've heard good things about your content marketing skills for that reach out, right? And then let's say they come back to you and say, hey, like what, what did you hear about my executive coaching skills, right? You can just take a look at the website, look at one of their case studies and say, hey, like I've seen on your, I've seen on your website that you helped com that company with the executive coaching or that company with the content marketing, right? If they ask about um, what um, what caught your attention. Um, you can also say maybe did this, right? You can say, hey, most people get uh, content marketing completely wrong. After checking what we've been doing over at company name, I had to reach out. You can also say, I have to say, you are a, your audience is service wizard, right? You can say, hey, I have to say, you are a SEO wizard. Let's say you're a lead generation agency and you promise uh, SEO, uh, other SEO agencies, more meetings. You can say, hey, I have to say you are an SEO 
uh, wizard or your recruiting wizard. It's a little bit more informal, looks less like generic, doesn't look like spammy. It really looks like you've taken a look at the profile, you've taken some time to write a font for called the. <clears throat> this one is a very simple one, but it can also work. Hey, really impressed by what you've been doing at company name. This one wouldn't be my favorite, but let's say you don't really vibe or the other ones, the other examples don't really click. You can always use this one as a backup. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, also something along the lines of, hey, not a lot of recruiters in the UK with that type of track record. You're putting a little compliment in there. It looks like you've done your research, like you, um, you really looked at what they're doing and calling that out. A uh, couple of basic ones here, great profile pick on LinkedIn. Uh, probably this one, this was just some notes. I wouldn't say this. Uh, um, you can, rem let's remove that. And um, you can say, hey, so you're on Instagram, had to reach out. Your tweets are wild, had to reach out. Um, maybe you can say, hey, you know, as a, as a title of a rapidly growing sales company, you may be uh, frustrated by your rep's performance. You know, try to tap into a potential pain point is a little bit more risky, right? You, you're putting it out there by asking this type of question. But if it's true, they will respond and say, hey, yeah, you know, um, I need something to get my team to the next level. And uh, yeah, there's a, there's a couple more. I'll add them into the list, but let's continue with building out uh, our building blocks here. So, right, building block one, again, is attention. You're gonna say, I noticed that you're running the show at company name, so I thought you'd be the best person to discuss this with. So here, right, we're going back. By the way, we're gonna add first, we're gonna add a subject line here as well. And let's say which one of the building blocks we want to uh, pick here. So building block number one, right out of these ones, I'm just going to look for the list, see which one could be <clears throat> the best. Right, you can say something like, uh, I noticed, maybe not this one. We're going to put all these bu building blocks to together, attention authority ask. Um, I already prepped this here, I picked one of one out of the list. So I'm just going to put this here. Hey, I noticed that you're running the show a company name. So I thought you'd be the best person to discuss this with this detention block. Then let me insert the authority block. And right, then you just transition it. Transition from one sentence to the other, right? Good way to transition is just to say so, right? I noticed that you're running the show a company name. So I thought you'd be the best person to discuss this with. So we helped James C add 400K ARR revenue cold outreach tool called Instantly. And I think we can do the same for company name. And then the ask, again, like this one is super, super easy to do. Uh, when you're putting these building blocks together, you know, just read it out loud like I just did, just to see if it if it flows, if, it, if it's easy to read, easy to adjust, if it does make sense. Uh, sometimes you'll have to change a, a couple of words here and there just so it flows more naturally. But so we put right, all the three building blocks together from what we had here. And right? um, obviously the offer I'm promoting here is instantly our uh, outreach tool, 10x your leads, meetings and deals. So this is what I'm doing outreach for here, just for some, some contents, context. But yeah, right, this could be a really broad offer. Uh, we can have really broad targeting and still in a way, uh, even though it's not hyper personalized, it's not super specific, you can still get good reply rates. Uh, it, 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 do, it won't take us a lot of time or a lot of resources, or a lot of complexity to add personalization and personalized lines or whatever it may be. And we have all the building blocks covered. Okay, we have attention, authority, ask. Now, moving on, I showed you how that looks like in, to, in the Instantly Accelerator. Uh, this triple A method, attention, authority, ask, um, Initially, I learned this from Alex Berman with the free C method, which was a complement case study, call to action, or the free R's method by Jesse Oluet. So make sure you also check out some of their stuff. I'll put their uh, Twitter profiles into the description. Also, as the last part of this video, I'm going to throw in some bonus ideas that came to mind when I was preparing this video. I think it, they'll be useful next time you're looking at the blank page in the sequence editor, and you're looking for some impulses to start uh, writing. But before we, we do that, let me just, you know, I'm going to format this a little bit just so you can see how that looks 
how that would look in uh, real life. Um, hey, first name, and then just best, right? And that's the email, right? How we methodically structure this cold email, and now it's ready to go. We schedule it. We select a couple of uh, sending accounts that are going to be rotating, and then we click launch, and we're good to go. So, just to, uh, throwing in a couple of bonus ideas is um, compressing your value prop. So when you're in that authority section, uh, or you you are showing your value proposition instead of having like a super long sentence. Sometimes I see that when people ask me, hey, can you review my copy? And they have like this super long sentence with abstract words, transforming, radically transforming, right? This doesn't mean much. Seamlessly schedule, unprecedented number, right? All of these stuff, this is mumbo jumbo in a way you don't wanna be using. Just go straight to the point, keep it um, simple language and compress it into one simple sentence that's easy to understand and it's believable and compelling. Okay, um, another idea that you can throw into your cold email is sports references. Something I learned from uh, Ken Falk from the AutoUp.io agency. Right, let's say you're targeting New York. You can say something like, hey, like we'll help you conquer the marketplace, leaving your competitors in a New York Knicks-like rebuilding phase. Maybe you can put that into, into the PS of the uh, cold email. And you can go here uh, and put that in. Maybe that will get a, get a laugh from some people. Sometimes humor works in cold outreach uh, as well. And something you can uh, experiment with uh, also. And then you can use other words uh, other than just sales words, right? If you say, hey, we'll get you five more meetings a week with your dream prospects, you can say, hey, we can connect you with um, we can connect you with more potential, like X potential clients that need help with the service. So this is something else that you can think about. You can also ask ChatGPT to say, hey, how can I say this thing in a non-salesy way? And yeah, just a couple of bonus ideas, but uh, going back really to the main pillars, the main structure of the cold email, start with attention, then authority, and then the ask. And that's it. And that's it. I hope this will help you write cold email copy faster. If it was valuable, please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.